No, it's um, it's it's like a medically tight pussy. That's what it is. It's mm. oh, you got to well, the muscles are so tight. It's so tight that you have to like loosen. I had to go to sound, physical therapy. This, this sounds like Why if I talk about this. this so you. This sounds like, like you, if I said, uh, man, I got this medical condition where my penis is so thick and girthy. It's yes, like, like abnormally my feet, long. Like my feet abnormally long and wide and uh, it's got some ridges in the thing so it feels good on the way in. it's Anyways, got a bump why would i right just, where the g yeah, spot is supposed right to go. And it curves like, up but not in a weird way just enough but why would this come be a, every time yeah every and it's time. just the doctors say it, like it feels it's like, like a finger doing yeah. this over <laughs> yo what's up square pimp brigade on this episode we have comedian riley lassen we here we discuss needle eye pussies and <laughs> wow. what it's like to having wow. a tight vagina why some girls are only uh the side chick and is it better to have kids and not also just we talk about uh sex and trust in sex and how important that is um listen if we if we didn't hook you in with tight vagina and you don't want to stick around to to listen to the rest of this podcast yeah. that's on what are you, you doing i, I don't know what doing? to tell you there's what not much more of a bigger hook than that <laughs> uh, but just to let you know, if you love the show and what we do, and this one's a fun one, uh, you can please support us over at patreon.com slash manschool202. That's where we do all the bonus content because it helps pay for the show and keeps the show running. And and uh, we do all the extra content. And today we keep uh, continue our conversation with Li- Li- Riley Lassen. And we talk about uh, being sexually present. That's a big deal. Uh, so that's where we do all the tips. Patreon.com slash manschool202. And we also do relationship consultations. Uh, you can reach me via email at advicefromharry at gmail.com. And Dante, where they can re- where can they reach you? DanteNero.com. Click on consult. All right. Enjoy the show. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. Yo, 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 what up, y'all? What up, Squid Pimp Brigade? Uh, GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The Sexual Revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited. Did I say excited? I didn't did, even yeah. What yeah. the fuck is wrong with my That's lips? That's how excited you are. You're so excited. I'm your so nips excited are. I can't your nips. Even Did I say nips? I went lips. Yeah, all right, I'm, we're all over the place. Yeah, we're it's the worst crazy. Start to the show ever. Working. But we could start over. But no, we're no, gonna leave this no, because we're so excited because we've been eating that pussy. What is that? Why your <laughs> lips are numb? Isn't yours? <laughs> I mean, that. I have been, but it did. That's not why my lips are numb. <laughs> that and the onions. I don't know. Oh, What's, okay. What? <laughs> Are you having a stroke? Are you alright, bud? Do I have to? Yeah, I, think, I don't know. I could Zoom be. Shows. I, it feels like it. Every day uh. I feel like I'm having a stroke. Um. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, Harry, what the fuck's up with you? <laughs> I'm doing good, buddy. I'm doing good. Life is good. I can't complain. Uh, out here living my life, living hard, doing that hard living, and uh, having hard? a tough time keeping That's these games down. Yeah, I'm doing all hard right. living. <laughs> you had a problem? What? What's with so me? weird about that? My lips being fucked up for eating pussy and somehow yeah. you you living hard? Or? I'm living hard, bro. Uh, whatever. Um, anyway, you introduced because apparently my lips don't work from eating all that pussy. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, that's a hell of a way to inter- introduce our, our uh, guest today. Uh, super funny. Super fantastic. Uh, a stand-up comedian, a radio broadcaster, the funny, the hilarious. Riley Lassen, everybody. Give it up for Riley. Hi, <laughs> guys. What's going on? I have to say that might have been my favorite way to be introduced on a podcast anywhere. (laughs) Hard life, pussy eating. I love this. We like, we aim to please. That's a hard life. That's a hard life. Riley, you got pretty hands. Put your hands up. You got some pretty fucking hands. She does have pretty hands. You got really pretty hands. Wait, do they have like a wiki hands? I know they got like wiki feet. Is there, is, does, does it even exist? Because I know foot fetish is Wait, right what is wiki hand? What is wiki, wiki feet? feet? You don't know what wiki, wiki feet? feet is? No. Dante. So <laughs> I can't believe I finally get to explain something to Dante. <laughs> Because I, I will, I will, I will take a little person and pop her foot in my mouth like it's a White Castle hamburger. So I mean, there's probably a section the for whole that on foot, the whole foot. So you wiki- might like this. You might. This might be your new thing, Dante. Like this might be your Pro- new. Go-to. Probably not. Probably. I mean, Dante will be checking it, and he will get a membership, and then forget to pay. I don't even. Yeah, think no. it's, uh, is Wiki much like Wikipedia? Is Wiki feet free to the public? It's not like a charge service, right? 
I feel like you can just look it up. I'm yeah. So sure. WikiFeet is like a Wikipedia but but only for only like women's feet. Like so. I guess if you're like, hey, Scarlett Johansson or whatever, you type in that and then you'd see And it gives her feet. They have like photos and stuff in movies and stuff. All her feet. All just feet, you know? Just her feet, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'll 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 suck on a foot. And as long yeah, as my but... if my dick's in you, you know, I'll do that. But I no, mean this it's ain't like... that. See, you're not you're not about that yeah, life, I'm not Dante. A... You're I'm you're not ruining a, the purity of it. It's, ju- it's just about the feet on Wiki Feet. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm not yeah. a purist. You know, <laughs> it's, it's just about the feet. No, is it? Is it really? They would ever kick you just, out of Wiki Feet. They would ban you. They'd be like, you know what? You're this. You don't. This guy. This guy likes the spirit everything. Of the thing. Dante's asking too much of us. We just were here for feet. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, this guy's not a purist. He gets. I don't like them. <laughs> I can see them, them putting comments under me. <laughs> oh, this guy likes vagina too. <laughs> Disgusting. Yeah, I'm the I'm the weirdo. Whatever. Fuck you. I haven't met a man yet that I, I'm like. I start to look at myself like, is it me? Do I have bad feet? But I haven't met a man yet with a foot like with with that that like that likes feet. And I'm kind of sad. Like I'm like, have I not? Do you have do you have nice feet or you got hooves? You got you no know, my feet, like my feet are not. I Come on, put them on. Feet. Let's see them. My feet, okay. My put feet are them, not. Pull back. Let me see. They're not that bad. Not nice feet. Thank Those you. Are nice feet. Those are nice feet. And I'm, but I'm not a foot guy. I don't know what size if you. What foot size community. shoe are you? I'm like a seven and a half, eight. I I can get four toes in my mouth. Was <laughs> it seven? I can get four toes in. Maybe three if we start with the the the. By the way, that that's now your entry for Wiki Feet, Riley. You don't even realize that someone right. screen grab that, and now it's someone just screen grab my feet. They can. Yeah. I mean, that's how it works. But Damn. already, Is that already, how it works? yeah, I guess that's how it works. It's not authorized by anyone. There's no union or anything. They just <laughs> I'm type in my name after this is uploaded. Yeah. <laughs> it's just you guys, and then my foot in the corner. That's what it's now. Can be. you can you submit it? Can you submit? Because I want to oh. submit mine and 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 no, and see, say that I'm Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> see, you're already ruining it for the people over at Wiki. No, they really? had a nice thing going over there, and yeah, then you, you got to come in until I start my OnlyFans. Oh, boy. <laughs> and then they're, they're like, I'm gonna we start like Scarlett Johansson's hard ass feet. <laughs> hard living. That's a hard life. Hard life feet. That's, That's what, what you it, meant by hard life. It's a hard life. Yeah, I, I will not nice, be on on, on Wiki feet. I got great feet for a dude. Oh, God, I, I get a manicured stuff. and pedicured. You get a pedicure? How about a <laughs> Oh, like Dante's trying to put his feet. <laughs> I get a I got oh, nice man. feet for a dude. <laughs> Harry, your turn. Oh, Jesus. No. <laughs> um, that ain't happening. But I got They're these big old feet. 13s. There's a lot of girth in my feet. <laughs> Length and girth. I don't think it's about the size over at WikiFeet. You My think so? It's about quality of the smoothness or something. Are you on Wiki? Or you just you know I'm about not. this? This is thing, your... Listen, hold on. But what do you know? You don't know. Okay. Do you understand the the BDSM offices are next to the the right next to the, it's you cross. You know, it's like diff, being in a different union. You cross paths. Listen, listen. Or you know, you go to the college. You go to you know, you're in medical school, but you walk by all the dental students. Listen, so you racing just cars them. is not the same as building cars, my friend. I it's, understand that. I understand that. I'm just wait, letting you I, know. I still can't get over that Dante said girth with feet. I never heard someone say. I got some thick ass feet. I, I got some thick feet. Especially at the base. Dante's feet have like the, he's got veiny ones. And it's, his feet are circumcised. It's very weird. They it's very I, like weird. Feet. I like veiny feet. I got, I got, I got man feet. So. All right, Jesus. How do we get back in a relationship? I don't know. I mean, isn't that what it's all about, my friend? <laughs> that we took in, into this. Riley, the, how, is, how is your relationships? <laughs> Let me see how Foot you bring finisher. this back. Foot finisher or not. You, know, you did say you haven't found. <laughs> watch this. I'm a genius broadcaster. Watch this. Riley. You, go ahead. I'm watching. Riley, you did mention you've never encountered a guy who was into your feet. What kind of guys have you been dating? Boom. Brilliant. Nice. Brilliant. Oh, that was smooth. That Brilliant. Was smooth. Brilliant. Harry. <laughs> Almost as smooth as my feet. Almost. <laughs> longest run. <laughs> longest. Damn it. I just longest. got us out of there. Riley. <laughs> longest podcast in the world you know we helped uh amon ra with isis i don't know if you know that we we kind of counseling them 
Socrates wasn't getting laid. You know, he called me. He called you Dante Nero. No, Dante, Nero. I need help. No, you guys, you don't even understand. All right, what's going on? I literally was talking about this last night. I was like, I, so I've never had a boyfriend in my life. And I was Why? Like, I'm going to get shit on so badly by you guys. Why? Because I never had, I had one when I was 14, 14 years old. And since then, I've just had like, I've had hookups that lasted a long time, but I've never, I'm 29 years old. I've never had like a boy. Like a now, boyfriend. when you say I've never had a boyfriend, but hookups for how long was the hookup? These men, these men, I, I'll hook up for years. Like mm. one guy I've been hooking up for a year with on and off another so guy. What makes this not what in your mind, what makes this not a, a relationship or a relationship? Like what is in your mind? What's the distinction? So these men, like it's one of those like 1 a.m. Where are you at? Let's hook up. Like I've not been out to dinner with any of these men. Like <laughs> how many? How many's in the rotation? Oh, right now we have zero at the moment. But um, at the best, at your best time, how best? many? Yeah, three. All right. Well, what do you like to eat? I know when, when the holla at you. <laughs> when you, I'm gluten free. I'm mean, like yo, roll at me. It's two a.m. I'm like, I'm at, it's, I'm at it's the, hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Julius getting the hot dog or something. <laughs> Even that, I can hit you up and go, hey, you know what I've been thinking of since I since we did the podcast? I've been thinking about your feet ever mm-hmm. since. And I just and also I, I haven't been to Cat's Deli in a while. So let's <laughs> make let's make let's, it. Let's happen. kill two birds with one stizone. I'm so, dead, Cat's Deli, Harry. <laughs> It has been a while. I should get there before they close down. Uh, I haven't, I've never been there yet. You've never no. been there? Oh, boy. Okay. You well, know, see, you could lose so your easy. card, right? You could lose your card. Don't say that out loud. If Wait, if, if Kanye finds out about this, mm. you could... <laughs> The fact I've never been to Cad's Deli. Yeah. <laughs> like, how? <laughs> it's expensive. <laughs> it is expensive. It's not worth it, it anymore. Um, but, okay, let's get to the, the why this is why this is happening, Riley. Hmm. Like, where do you meet these men, Riley? Like, where do you meet them? How does this come? How does these? How do these relationships usually uh, uh, develop? Um, usually, friends. They'll there be friends, and then we'll decide to hook up, or hmm. I'll like Hinge or Bumble or something like that. I'll meet a guy off of there. Mm-hmm. But I, I'm doing comedy, and then I'm work. Like, I'm, I'm rarely out. It is hard okay. to meet. All right. So out. let me ask you this: Yes, a guy that you hang out with, like, how much? How much, uh, how long you hang out with him before you give him the gash, the nappy dugout, the the clam chowder? How long, how long are you? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so this is like, okay, so I meet a guy off of like Tinder, right? Right. And on a date. You're asking like when we do the, man, uh, I'll blow a guy in front of <laughs> Look, Look no judgment. We probably won't have sex for a bit. We probably won't have sex for like a bit. But you will like, blow them. Oh. What's a bit? Maybe like the second or third time. <laughs> okay, so let me ask you this. That's not bad. You go out with the guy, you'll blow him the first night or no? I might. If you like him, you'll blow him the first night. <laughs> I mean, now do you do you do you just like to give head or yes, yes. So you enjoy yes. giving head? Yes. So this is not like, oh, she's so helpful, right? <laughs> she's so caring. She's, she's so, so <laughs> she's so considerate. <laughs> like the so, but then it's not really a you know what I'm saying? It's not like you're going, this guy deserves it. You just you like giving head. Yeah. So yeah, do you like hard. giving head more than you like having sex? No, so like my thing is, and this is this is so interesting, especially talking to like two guys about this. I have this thing called um, vaginismus. So it's you know any female listeners, they might be like, "What? It's not an STD or anything." It's not, <laughs> your Dante's face was like, "What? What is this?" Is that the one where you have teeth in your vagina? Because I've heard about that one. <laughs> I've heard that. You saw that movie? No, I no, didn't see that movie. That's my documentary. No, so what? 
So what it is is for years and years. I Funny thing, I know guys that would still fuck you with teeth in your vagina. They'd still give oh, it a 100%. shot. Hundred percent. They'd be oh, like, yeah. "Oh, okay, <laughs> interesting." <laughs> no, it's um, it's it's like a medically tight pussy. That's what it is. It's mm. oh, you got to well, muscles are so tight. It's so tight that you have to like loosen. It. I had to go to physical therapy. This, this sounds like Why if I talk about this. this so. You, this sounds like, like you, if I said, uh, man, I got this medical condition where my penis is so thick and girthy. It's yes, like, like abnormally my feet, long, like my feet. abnormally long and wide. And uh, it's got some ridges in the thing. So it feels good on the way. In. <laughs> it's Anyways, got a bump. Why would I right where the G spot? Yeah, right, it curves like, up, but not in a weird way. Just enough. But why would this come be a, every time? Yeah. Every and time. it's just the doctors say it, like, it it's feels like, like a finger doing yeah. this. over. <laughs> So having a tight vagina is not a what are you saying for you? It hurts for you or is so it you tr- think you think that it's like when I say that I remember yeah. the first time my gynecologist told me she high fived me. It was a, like she's like, I was like, this isn't funny Cause like, for so long. So in college, all my girlfriends were getting dick constantly. And like I was kind of seeing this dude. I passed out from sex one time. I passed out because from I'm, pain, from pain. And I have a high pain tolerance. I woke up. He goes. Are you okay? I was like, yeah, yeah. I said that hurt. Damn. And he goes, I'm so sorry. I said, I'm fine. And I think that's where the giving head kind of took place because oh. I knew, right, right. Okay, and so psychologically, now it makes she. Sense, yeah. I don't know if you know this, but Riley is real cool, like really cool with Andre. They're He's they're my best friends. Yeah, I love yeah, him. they're tight, right? So mm-hmm. as Andre would, what we call that in the Jamaican vernacular would be called a need lie. A needle eye pussy. Yeah. You can ask him. Small like the eye of a needle. I'll ask him. Let me write that down. Needle eye. Needle eye pussy. I know. I thought I was all all excited. Okay. (laughs) Ronald Reagan style security. Virgin (laughs) style security. Height. So you're dealing with this in college. So that's where you that's where the blow jobs, the blowies come from. That's where it all came from. And I moved to New York right after college. Mm. And I remember being like, I'm. I need a fuck. Like, I'm how about a, how about lube? What do you, you? What about a good everything? That was a lube. All that. Even tampons hurt. Like it was so bad. And when I went to my gynecologist, you ever tried pure? Is that lube? Yes. Oh, okay. I used to use KY. That no. Was- oh, this is here with the problem. That first of all, that's too sticky. A dickologist like myself. That stuff is kind of sticky, and so even though it works, you got to kind of still work it in. It's got to be juice and KY. There's a thing called a silicone-based uh, lube called Pure, P-J-U-R. Okay. Harry, can we share screens? We can share a screen, right? Uh, I can pull it up. Yeah, of course. Can you pull it up? It's P-J-U-R. Hold on. Um, Kind of expensive, but it lasts a long time. One time, uh, Harry came to my house. I because I have a, oh, yeah. I have a, uh, a, uh, at least tell the rest it? of the story. That it's how a, it's connected to the lube. A squirt, how go from lube to one time squirt, Harry came over a, to my house. I have like a, like, uh, you know, like if you get the CVS, um, <laughs> or the Dwayne Reed lotion, yeah, that comes a big sack and you just, <laughs> yeah, it's, I have one with the. You just hit the top, right? So you can reach under my bed and go, right? It's right there. But I, but sometimes it would spill. I would knock it over. Mm. It would spill. And I was like, yo, Harry, could you go upstairs in my room and go get the other cord or the wire from one of the cords for the for the for for doing the podcast? Mm-hmm. And then Harry would come in the room and step on the thing, slide yeah, into the I radiator. I almost tore my ACL. I did that thing where you're like, you know, you're walking down the street and you slip on some ice. Yeah. You, go, <laughs> you do that thing where you're like, oh, oh, and, nothing, and you're like, oh, I'm safe. I am so safe. But clearly all like a half an inch to the right, that would have been a life altering. And then I would he, just be he walks out wheeled like out this. on the ambulance he on the gurney. Flat footed to get all the surface area from his, to try to get out. But, you yeah. know, I like that Dante wanted a, a pump down there for instant access. I know. I know. Initially, you tried to install one of those. Uh dispensers with the hand sensor underneath like oh, they the have in the bathroom sensor. yeah i should have put it you know what i should have put it in the the infrared joint the you can 
like a doctor. You treat it like a doctor's office. Like no, I'm, I mean, we're there. joking, but Harry did come downstairs and was like, dude, I almost <laughs> fucking broke my I almost neck. Slipped. Yeah. <laughs> I almost slipped. Okay. <laughs> so all right so now this is this is so we're making jokes about it but it's got to be traumatizing right because oh it's yeah definitely 100%. so it's now did you learn to derive the pleasure from it because of the fact that sex can be so painful yeah i think with the with the giving head it was like i knew if i gave head i didn't have to have sex in college and that made me feel better that i was like oh i don't have to go through pain by giving head so i def that's definitely a mental thing now as i'm older i'm like oh i love giving head but i also can have sex now it's still painful i still have to like work through it but it's not like how i was when i was in college hi guys i went to physical therapy for like a year to try to like open it up Oh, well, like, wow. How about I give you a baby? I give you a baby. We'll open it right up and we go. That's oh true. my god! I'm, if I if I'm if I get pregnant, I'd have to go back to a physical therapist to like figure that out because that in your head, because just in your head would you would panic psychologically? Everything it's all connected. It's all like. But, do you want to have kids, Riley? Do you think about that? Or yeah, I think so. I think I'd, I think so. I think in the future it would be it'd be nice. But that's I'd what you and you and Harry have in common. Harry, <laughs> Harry tight wants no kids. He's yeah, you have a tight that one. That too. He's I mean, it's it, it needle eye. I don't know if you've heard the term needle eye. <laughs> no, I think I don't want to have kids. That's why you I'm don't want to have kids. No, nah, I don't think so. I go back and forth on it, but it's just too much. Harry's, too Harry's much. having kids. I don't uh, know why he keeps uh, I don't know. saying he's gonna have I kids. I don't know if I will. I don't know. I'm real serious about the. I'm not like. Oh, maybe I, I, a part of me loves it. But then those days, like every day, once a day, I go, thank God I don't have kids. Like once a day, I go, man, this sucks. But this would be so much worse if I had to carry two children around. Like anytime I but walk down. Two? It could have just been one. It have won't be to- one. If I'm doing it, I'm going all. You can, I can't have an only child. My dad is That's an only absurd. child. Absurd. Like, Why would you? Um, I don't want an only child. Your you want dad to- is out of his mind. That has yeah, nothing to do with. That's not the reason. I'm just saying, I don't think. I think if you have kids, having an only child is a little. Why? I think I think if you're gonna have a family, have a family, so that they have somebody to play with, somebody to grow up with. It's a you uh, always have something to play with. You just send them out to go play with people. You send them do to that camp. No camp. Camp. Send no, the kids no, to no. camp. You send the kid. I have to say, I do understand the whole only child thing. But my one of my best friends, so we cry. She's an only child, but she is so like loving and caring. You would never know. So there's certain. Yeah. People, I think that are like it just depends on the parents sometimes. It just depends. I, wanna, I don't want to go off of, off of what we were talking about with you and your Imagine needle eye vagina. <laughs> well, we're definitely I, getting back was, to your needle eye uh, puss. We we're get definitely right going back, back to, to that. It. You know, yeah. it's it's harder to get a camel through an eye of a needle than a rich man go to heaven. That's what it says in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Which Bible? It's oh, that's really in the Bible. Did you know that? I mean, not not, not your the Bible. puss part. No, the not needle the eye. one. The Christian Bible. Oh, the newer one? Oh, got it, got it. Okay. Yeah, the one with the pedophiles. The, <laughs> that one. The um, But here's, here's what I would say. Even all this stuff that Harry's worried about, mm. having one child, none of that would be a problem because he's already considering, man, if I only had one kid, they got to have somebody to play with. Them. So it's it's always the people that have it all figured out. That fuck their kids up. It's never the ones that are cautious about what could fuck their kids up. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like if you if you're like, am I over? Am I overzealous? Am I too disciplined? And am I a helicopter parent? Those people are usually right in the ballpark of where they should be. Even though it's, I mean, nobody makes it. Nobody makes all the decisions perfect. But the fact that you're considering. The fact, just the fact that you consider the things that you do and the way that you you raise your kid affects them later. Mm. Um, and I don't know why Harry would that would be a consideration. But <laughs> affects them later. <laughs> to, to think or, that parents would affect your who you no, are, right? No, huh? no, it's just I don't. I just it's too much for me. It's not even the kids. I'd be the kids would be. I think the kids would turn out fine. I just I would hate life having kids it's just too much it's stressful now the whole thing is stressful now i can't imagine the stress of having kids i just don't it's just too much 
I can't, I don't want to do both pursue a dream and try to be there for your kids. It's hard. It's hard. I have to say, financially, I'm emotionally. Grateful. like my mom, she's an artist. <clears throat> she went to school for art. She's an artist. And she was able to put that as like, she even said, she goes, all I wanted was a kid, right? All I wanted was a baby. And now that I'm older and she's out here just like living her life. And I'm like, why don't you just go back to art? And she's like, well, I don't know. I'm scared. I'm like, of what? And now as me as an artist, I can now be like, you get back to art. She goes, well, what, what if no one likes my art? I'm like, I think about that every day, mom. <laughs> that's going to, and that's going to happen. It, right. it, it is going to happen with some people don't like your art, but that's the yeah. whole point of art is that it's not for everybody. Exactly. 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 And my father is a dentist and he's like, I don't care. Let me tell you with this whole v- vagina thing going on, I had right. I did physical therapy. I could not afford it. So I had to ask my dad for money. Talk about so your little vagina. <laughs> no, wait, did you have to explain to him why you needed the therapy? You couldn't just say I'm dealing with some stuff. And mm-hmm. he, or he, or he was like, what's what's the matter with you? Right. I, he, well, I almost he, I almost did a Jackie Mason. Hey, what do you mean? Your vagina is too small. What do, you mean? Too what do you mean your pussy's too tight? How can your pussy be too tight? How could a pussy? That's, that's a good you thing. You didn't get it from your mom, that's for sure. A good I'll, thing. Tell you, I'll tell you right <laughs> now, your mom's pussy wasn't my tight. <laughs> a little old Jewish man is my father. But he, uh, it's funny because like, so I told my mom, my mom knew all about this and they know my comedy. They've, they've seen me here and there. They, I'm, oh, I've always been a dirty, like even in middle school, I was always the one that was like, I got my period. Like I was always so open about things, mm-hmm. and they weren't. You know, they're like very so open cute. emotionally, not so much vagina wise. Very yeah, not vaginally very closed. Everything was open except down there. Everything. <laughs> and I and I was, uh, you know, I, I went to the doctors and I was so sad because I looked up what I had to do, and it's very invasive. And I told my mom, and I'm stressing out. And my mom goes, "Honey, well, it's okay. It's going to be okay." And I go there. It's two hundred dollars a week, and oh, insurance wow. doesn't cover it. And I was like, I can't do this. So mom was like, we're going to have to tell your father you're going to physical therapy. And he's going to ask for what? So I said, can you just explain it to him? Can I don't want to explain it. Can you explain it? I came home for Thanksgiving that first year I was in New York. I'd already done about a month or two of physical therapy. And my dad goes, honey, you want to want to drive with me to the store? Okay, dad, get in the car. The car is the best time for this, right? The car is the, so I'm sitting there. He's sitting there and he looks, he goes, honey. I go, yeah. He goes, I hope physical therapy is going well. <laughs> I just went, yeah, no, it's, it is. Thank you. It is. He goes, good. I'm glad. I'm glad. But he didn't, he didn't go. He didn't. No, no. Oh, that's dope though. He just was <laughs> so like, I'm so, he's like, you should have a healthy, a health. I think he wants to say healthy sex life. Mm-hmm. But instead he's like, I just want to have a healthy Happy life. <laughs> but and all that he's like, I hope my daughter is getting laid. Like I <laughs> But it's a no, weird I one. Mean, As look, a dad, what do you do? I mean, how do, when you take right? that information, you don't want to be like, Well, I hope it's loot. Like you you can't get upset, like ah, it's too tight. Right. You're you're proud. It's a weird one. You're like, like yeah, that's like your son getting laid a lot. Yeah, you're like, yeah, yeah, my daughter vagina <laughs> like a needle eye. Yeah. Right. Like How he's paying, to- he's helping paying for me to get laid. That's honestly what physical therapy yeah. was is but my mom was like Riley like you should be having sex she goes you're 24 years old 23 years old she's like I'm so sorry that it's so painful for you and she got now, all sad. now do you avoid it by do you avoid having sex because of it I, I definitely think there is um I'm getting over that I'm getting trying to I, I have such whole energy and I have such this energy that like I love, I love it. And then I get to it and I get I feel my body get scared. That's gonna hurt again. It's kind of like, you know how you 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 give yourself a shot. If someone else gives you a shot, it's okay. But if you were to give yourself a shot, you'd be like, eh, but you know it's gonna be fine. Yeah, you'd still be hesitant and scared. You're gonna have a whole bunch of little dick dudes hitting you up in the DM. Okay, so tell me why the last three dicks I've had. Guys, monsters, <laughs> huge, <laughs> huge. This last guy killed like last guy. I was I it was bad. It was, I couldn't go to the bathroom for days. My pelvic wall was like all moved around. But that's maybe that's what you need. You need somebody to, to lock it, renovate your vagina, just yeah. slide a wall back here. And 
put some barn oh, doors in there. It was bad. I was, I was the whole time. I was like, I just got to breathe, sir. I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm trying to get through it. <laughs> She's doing Lamont's class. Oh, to- <laughs> Is it? Let me ask you this, though. Is it maybe part if you I guess it's hard to explain to somebody for the first time, although it might be easy. Like, listen, I just got to let you know I got a real tight post is probably not going to deter and the guy's anybody. like yeah right yeah. and i'm like no it's medically tight it's and then medically like, tight <laughs> yeah medically but maybe having a conversation with it before and because you know some guys want to knock it out of the park and they think that's part of the gig is to slam it home and mm-hmm. you gotta do you have that conversation ever with any of them has that ever happened yes, i do and now. how does that work I definitely bring it up in a way like because i'll you know you kind of have like that sexy talk and yeah. i'm like they're like yeah, and I'll do this. I'm like, okay, wait, but before you do that, I'm really tired. <laughs> I'm like, before that happens, mm-hmm. I'm explain, before you knock the frame out, right? Like, like we just have to be a little careful. And then they get like, oh yeah, you're tight. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah hold like, on, really, really, really. <laughs> like, you, you know, it's just... funny. My my stepdaughter, I remember her being uh, playing with the kids in the neighborhood, and you know the kids go my daddy my daddy will beat your daddy up right and uh i i'm i'm she's playing underneath the window and i'm listening to them and he's like my daddy my daddy can bend hangers oh yeah well my daddy would and then i remember my stepdaughter goes no no really like my daddy will fuck your dad <laughs> no no for real like i've put seen that, it oh, put aside all, all that yeah, yeah i get it my dad your dad whatever but no but for real don't for real don't don't do that that's i there's definitely a time where it's like they'll if they keep joking around i will be like wait 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 it is kind of it is wild though because there are some guys that will say oh i think my girlfriend and my ex-girlfriend had this or wait this happened before like because other women have this a lot of times yeah, yeah. i'm diagnosed not a lot darn wink wink <laughs> not enough not enough no, no. <laughs> not true I like that it wasn't the the therapy wasn't covered by your health insurance company, which means at some point they had to like vote on it. And they're like, they were like, what what about therapy for little pussies? Ah, come on. I remember see that. Government (laughs) hates women. They're like, oh, women having nice, easy sex. No, no. (laughs) I think that them just going, we're not going to aid in the stretching out and enlarging of these vaginas. Listen, I'm a Christian. Yeah, I'm a Christian. If you think I'm going (laughs) to. So. Now, is it all the sex for you, Riley, that 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 you think creates that issue? Is it going hard on the first dates? Like you you want you want a boyfriend, right? You want a, a long term partner. I think I you know, it's like I do now. And it's, it's years and years of being not maybe it is excuses. It honestly is excuses. But for a while it was, oh, I'm comedy and acting and i don't have time for one then it was oh i have the, the, the sex i don't know if i have to deal um you know what I, I don't need one now i'll deal with that later i kept having to put things thinking this is going to interfere in having a boyfriend and finally i'm like hey i see all my friends out here having them and they're perfectly fine like it's perfectly fine i can do that it was this years and years of just being like i don't think i can that's a lot looks like a lot of work and I don't know if I have that. I don't know mm. if I want to deal with that. We I used to talk about this. There was a guy. We had a, a porn star, Mo, this guy, famous porn star, male porn star. His Mo name the is Monster. Mo the Monster. Monster. Mm. If you ever meet him, don't. Just don't even. <laughs> if he goes, hey, my, hey, I'm Mo. You go. Yeah, I'm good. Because he's he he's got he's got probably like an a 11, 12 er and like 11, 12 er with. Heavy. Like people in sleep be like stop stop yeah, yeah. He, he also kind of looks like um riley has the only pussy with like one of those uh height limits that you put over a bridge like an overpass <laughs> so the trucks don't go <laughs> through it like 13 feet only at the top <laughs> 13 <laughs> but he we we asked him about you know relationship and he was like yeah, man, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I don't know. I don't like and we were like, what? And and then he started tearing up because in his mind, he's like he ha- he doesn't have any like his dick is too big. 
And so the only people that fuck with him is, is you know, size queens and freaks, you know. Yeah. And and so he can't really find, and, and you know, so the pickings are slim because, he, you know, you got to be willing to fucking work on your Lamaze class to fuck him, you know. And and I know I've spoken to girls like like regular girls, not that I mean it's say that you <laughs> not not weirdos like you um but but you know where civilians you know, the guy non-comedians would, non non-crazy lifestyle like we yeah, live I, I had a i had a i knew a good 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 friend of mine um she, she i remember her saying to me and this is interesting because a lot of guys don't understand this she was saying she she was dating this guy guy was really nice and they would hit it off great and then the guy says, listen, I need to talk to you. He's like, um, I have a I have a huge my dick is big. And she's like, oh yeah, that's oh, is it? And he's like, no, no. He's like, wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> he's like, no, it's it's like it's like it's it's a problem. And she was like, oh yeah, well, let me I'm oh yeah. Problem solver. <laughs> she goes, I'm all about solving problems. <laughs> She and then she, woman, up, she like said to me that she said every time they had sex, it was a problem to the point when as nice as it was, the nice as he, the guy, not as it was, because I don't know how nice it was or whatever, but but she said it was a thought. And every time she wanted to have, they were, they were going to get intimate. It was a thing where she was like, this is I, I, this is not fun. Right. You know, it was such a problem and you had to get her. She had to be super wet. And he was like, if you couldn't be too, then it was. And then, you know, like you, it, you also get into a situation where because there's no activity, because it ain't fun for you either. Like, you know, when you got to you got to put it in at a centimeter at a time, like that's right, never right, right. You know, yeah. like you lose, you know, he would lose his erection and then he'd be he'd be stuffing it in like a plunge with a shoehorn trying to, but you still, but she was like, it just wasn't, it wasn't fun. Our, and so Riley has him back it in like a garbage truck going down a small alley. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not even joking. That last guy, his dick was so big. I remember it was literally like, like we move, it was moving like this, like slow, slow, slow. Like it was literally like, <laughs> How how big was big? It was, Show guys, me. it was. I'm trying like it's not like this, but like it was <laughs> both both hands. Like it was huge, and I remember it was like the third time we tried having sex, and it was working. And I was like, "Oh, here we go." He goes, <laughs> he goes, can you get up? I went, "What?" <laughs> he goes, "Yeah, because he wanted me to get on top." I was so mad. Oh, no, I was like, no. you just got this in and you're wanting me to get on top now. I was like, I'm, my body hurt. <laughs> like, it felt like, a. I, honestly, he left. I felt like I had a workout. I was like, and I did nothing. I was on my back. He did all the work. I was like, right. good, for, good for you, dude. But like, I, like I yeah. Well, because the thing is, if you're on top, that's the most level of inches you're going to get inside of you is being but, on top. But not really, because you have as a if the woman is on top, she has more control. She has more control over what. Yeah. But that means she has to in order for have to ha her to have more control, especially if it's a large penis, she's got to use her quad muscles to keep from going all the way down. And my like, muscles at this point were like, right, right. what the fuck are you doing? Right. Like you were already. <laughs> Right. You're already panicking because <laughs> if she doesn't yeah. if she doesn't stay up or if there's nothing to hold, like hold, which there shouldn't be no, right in, you a, could, in a you bed, could, it, you she's going to go on your knees. Down. You can go on your knees, be forward and then lean back. You, it's right. much more so control. There's, there's a lot of control. No, Donda, you're right. It's just it's <laughs> I was so I was like, I can't get how am I going to get up? What if it comes out? We just got this. And we got to You're like, what you're like, what if it comes out now? We got to get it back in again. Exactly. I was like, this is and I get it being on top. Honestly, mo I know me and a lot of my friends. That's how a lot of women come is like on top. And I'm like, man, I would go on top if it wasn't for this situation. <laughs> I was like any other time. Sure. Do you explain right. to him in that situation? Like what the what the deal is? Like, hey, I, I'd oh, love no, to. I, I tried. Can't. I went on top. I did it. Oh, you did. I did it. Oh yeah, the moment, I I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, but I you got. I mean, you just you definitely have more control 
over 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 whatever you know you can take your time you can the only problem is that if he's you know he could lose focus and he could lose his erection which mm-hmm. is what you're hoping for anyway <laughs> like that he, he, <laughs> yeah, can you can you soften that can you tenderize that motherfucker just make it a little smaller just make can you it a little bread it bread it and beat it <laughs> like, <laughs> like a nice chick fillet um <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, here's the thing. It's difficult enough to be in a, in a situation where, um, you're trying to kind of have this intimacy in the first place, mm-hmm. but here's something that just couldn't cross my mind because it, it's, it, it's, you gotta be meticulous, right? It's also where I think you can, you gain, it's like anal sex. Like, how's your butthole? Is that wide open? You could just I plow through that, or just can you imagine just, if I was like, oh yeah, that, that's loose, guys. That's, that's fine. fine. That's <laughs> <laughs> a, you should have seen the with, physical with those, therapy with she those had hand to do. lights going like in the yeah. airport. <laughs> I was like, yeah, my pussy's got tight, but don't worry, guys. My butthole loose, loose and loose. It's good, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I fart yeah. like this. <laughs> no, no, I'm too scared to even see that. I'm too. Oh, scared. you're are you? So you never have you ever try anal? One time, and it was rough, and I was like, "This I said, my pussy's already rough." We're not even. No. Mm-mm. Okay, so let me ask you this: comparatively, how bad is it vaginally compared to anal? It's probably as it's probably honestly. I tried anal one time, quick. It was not. I felt I didn't. I also didn't like the feeling of it. Maybe it was a situation. I'll definitely try it again later in life. I would, t- if my husband or boyfriend ever wanted to try it. I when try when it. do you think you're gonna try it again? Oh. Harry, mark this down. Hold on, I'm, I'm like, writing this down. Yeah, guys, <laughs> I have to figure, out, I have to figure out the first hole. I have to <laughs> are you thinking February? February? <laughs> no, we have to sign the first hole first. Second hole, we can do another date. Okay. <laughs> Riley is a one hole at a time project. I guess type please. of situation. Yeah. <laughs> God, I mean the, well, yes, that's so far, that's so far away for what she needs what, right February? now. February, February, no, just, oh, oh, we both said February. No, I mean, I mean, her asshole from her vagina is so far away. Literally, like the taint is, a, it's a, you know, because she has such a small vagina, the distance is much farther between the the hole and. No, the, uh, Riley's taint is like six inches. Like it's, it's a massive wait, taint. It's the regular, the regular. Regular holes are not taking up the true portion that so it's like a it's like it's like know, a hand. Honestly, you know how I, you measure horses in hands? It's like <laughs> guys, it's most it is the okay. So like you know how you pull a muscle, right? And you have to yes. like take a ball and you gotta like push out the muscle, right? You yes. get like a tennis ball. That's literally that's but it's like ah, 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 I gotta come I got, like that bad. Like, yeah, ah. that's exactly what's going on. Oof, so shit. I have to say, there are some guys. I was talking about this one guy for a while. Maybe by the second or third time we had sex, it was amazing. Every time we had sex, it was the easiest thing. I was so sad when we stopped. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I'm, I, we, it happens again, but it kind of <laughs> fizzled out a little bit. But that was, but it's just honestly certain dudes, and I happened to pick some. Now, now, so this guy, the guy that it was good. What, did he have a particularly small penis, or what? What was what was the difference? It was definitely like an average, average size. I don't know what it. And like he, we what was a seven things. eight, like average. Yeah, probably seven, seven and a half. <laughs> there, now we found out the problem with Riley. <laughs> she doesn't. She thinks a seven eight is is average. <laughs> this is the problem. Your vagina's no, perfect size. Average. The problem is you're hanging out with these monster cock dudes. <laughs> Seven's not. No, seven <laughs> is not the average guy. Does not have seven. No. Let's see. Let me look it up. What is the average size? Like of four a- five. Gotta be five. See. I think. I think I looked this up. Four and a half. I, I looked this up already. <laughs> You did. It came right up, right, Harry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm wondering why Harry's... Times. How many times Harry's Google does Can you tell how many times you looked this up, Harry? It doesn't say, Check but it already Google fills stats. it in. It already fills it in. Average size penis. You put, av- you put AV and it goes average size cock, right? It says the average size penis, according to uh, Team's analysis here, 
from science.org. Seems pretty reliable. The average flaccid penis uh, is the about 3.61 inches, but yeah, hard 5.16 5. No, inches. Erect, erect is what, though? 5.16 inches is the average, they're saying. So 5.16. I've been with a guy with a, like a five. I'm inch. feeling good about myself right now. Yeah. So well, <laughs> I guess I uh, I don't want to I don't want to say how big it is, but sorry, Riley, me and you incompatible. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> Just too much. It's too much. So a bunch of little like little dick dudes is gonna slide in her gym. Hey, there and they're gonna be like, hello, my name is Fitzgerald. <laughs> I don't know why he sounds like like that. (laughs) My name is Fitzgerald. (laughs) A whole bunch of Fitzgeralds just fucking DMing me. Fuck you, dude. I've said I've said it on air before about liking small penises, and I have gotten flooded with flooded. You know, I mean, I have a small penis. I'm like, and I'm happy for them. I'm like, good for because you know it is. There are so many stereotypes of certain body parts, and I feel bad when they're like, "Oh yeah, little penis," blah, blah, blah. and like, "I love like give me a little penis." <laughs> like, I guess but not like, enough. Was, apparently, like, I was like six or seven. It was, but I guess maybe he knew what to do. I don't know. It was. It worked so well. We also did missionary every time too, which I know was I know was boring. No, I love missionary. I know. I think I it love, this I is love not it. this is I always say this is not guess, your grandmother's missionary. I'm yeah. putting out. Well, your missionary is different, Dante. <laughs> You're still it's an aggressive missionary. It's, it's, it's like you don't even am you like, am I on my back? It's I don't like, know. Your missionary is like the way they have like uh, the spicy chili in the south. Like the mild is still spicy. You know what I mean? You're like, like even like this is mild. Yeah, yeah, it's mild. Don't even worry. But it's like a uh, regular hero. You're like, is there avocado in it? And red onions, sweet peppers, and salty, hot and sweet. Weird. Is that an olive? Where do you know who puts an olive? Like, <laughs> um, but why does it never work out? Here's here. All you ever hear women complain about is how each guy they encounter, it's not big enough. It's not big enough. And here, Riley can't find anybody who isn't at least trying for a college basketball scholarship. <laughs> it's not fair. Why doesn't it ever work out? Riley is like, I'm all I'm all down here. Three, three between three and five. I'm ready to go for it. And she loves, give, like she loves giving want. head. She gives she gives head like she's drinking out of a drink straw. She just <laughs> <laughs> giving head to big dick is fun though. I wouldn't know, but I explain. <laughs> Because it's overwhelming. It's yeah, it's fun. It's exciting. This, it's a, it's theatrical, Harry. I'm, I'm theatrical. not judging. I'm listening. Yeah, theatrical in what sense? Smacking? Oh, you wait. So, do you smack your own face with it, or do they smack you, do. you with it? Yeah, I, I, silly I, I, Riley. Yes, Riley knows what to do. Again, these are great. This has become just an infomercial to get Riley's dating numbers up. <laughs> and so far, I, let's let's recap what the issues Riley has <laughs> is. She uh, is too eager to give blowjobs. Uh, that's the first problem. Yeah. Her vagina is too tight. It's too tight. Um, she thinks seven inches is a... Uh, <laughs> she likes small dicks. And she will blow you on the first date. And so she will blow you on the first date. I can't... Who who can deal with this woman? This, who wants she this? just wants everything. <laughs> okay. Right. And, I, and I'm over here being single my whole life. Being like, I don't know what's wrong. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So other than that, what do you think might be another issue? Or what what would be an issue that you think keeps you from having a relationship? I think I'd like I I'm really good at being alone. And I think I like being I, I enjoy being alone. And like I, I have a lot of friends and I love being out. I love all this stuff. But I'm very I think I'm very good at this. I'm very good at just I see a lot of friends and they're like, oh, I'm go good at which friend. part? The being alone part. Right. It's like I see a lot of my friends. Oh, I have to go with my boyfriend. I have to do this. I have to do that. And I'm like, oh, man, I just want to go home and nap. Like I got a nap before I got like there. It feels like it takes up a lot of time, but I think I'm ready for that now. I think I'm like wait, but I think I do want I, someone. To I'm gonna tell you, something. I don't think it. It's not that it, a good relationship doesn't doesn't take up a lot. To, I I think that you just. I, I think when you get past the nonsense, I'm fucking joking around. I feel like I'm I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing, which is trying to help people. help people. So yeah. One of, one of the things I think that it's we we are uncomfortable with certain things. We go through certain trauma, 
And then we link that trauma to whatever is going on in our head. And so perspectively, it, it almost becomes Pavlovian. It's it's there are things that are in your head. And I mean, that's why you go to therapy is so that you can break these bonds because the bonds are really arbitrary. I'm, I know guys, uh, good, some of my good friends could never get anal. They could never get anal from a girl or very rarely get anal from a girl because of the fact they just were too anxious and too pushy to get anal. So it's like, you know, like you, it, what's what's interesting is the reason why I asked you about the anal thing. You you said it's like almost the same thing. The, the pain is the same. Yes. Probably or is it worse? It probably could be worse. I feel like I don't use it. I'm, yeah, probably. A little Wait, worse. Anal is worth or, or 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 vaginal or is it? It's a, probably about the same or maybe worse because I really don't do a lot down there. You know, it's, it's all probably very tight. That whole region. Everything right. Tight. Right. So um, what I've what, me personally, because of the fact that and I, like this has a lot to do with the fact that um, I don't really perceive having sex as a win. Do you know what I mean? Like a lot of guys who don't. That's who the whole goal. That's the victory. Yeah, they right. don't have a, they don't they don't have good. Num- but even if they got numbers, it's almost like they don't really they're, they're shoplifting the pussy. You know, like you're 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 getting from the store something that you don't really feel that you you deserve. So when somebody's fucking you, it's almost like, oh, I. I trick tricked you, bitch. You know what I mean? Like in your mind, you're not saying that, but in the mind, in your mind, it's almost like you think that you've tricked somebody into it because you think because you, you don't love yourself enough. And so you're going, you know, the fact that this person had sex with me is is a win for me. And what I realize is I don't. I, and, and I'm not saying that I've had this my whole life. I mean, because I think I was, in, you know, to a certain extent, I was young that way, too, in that um, I would. um, I I kind of thought that um, there was a time where I thought women f- like so at, at when I was like 1920. And, you know, I was I was stripping then and I didn't really. I didn't really understand how desirable I was in the context of what I was doing and how I was so like, I was so it, was, it really was goofy when I think about it. It's like, like, I was like, I really want to do a great show and I want it to be congruent and I want it to be like, I want the dance steps to be, I want everything to look, feel, I wanted the experience to really be artistic. Right. Mm-hmm. And so I really wasn't, was I really didn't look at how good I was at doing it. And the same way I look at comedy, I'm just always pushing myself artistically. And I was the same way with, and so I didn't understand, like if a girl liked me or multiple girls like me, I just, oh, they like me. That's great. That's cool. Let's get to, so it wasn't like, oh, she likes me. And now this validates me. Uh, but I also didn't get in my head where I was egotistically like, oh, I mean, because to me, it just didn't make sense. It didn't make logical sense because it's like, and I still say this to to this day, what my number is, my my body count, I believe has a lot to, well, I mean, it does, it has a lot to do with the, yeah, cool. It has a lot to do with the fact that it was the business that I was in. So I didn't really, it, it, it didn't boost my ego that I remember even when I when we were doing this show and we were doing it at Black Phillip and I would go, what's your body count? Guy would call in and I go, what's your body count? And he would be like 20. And I was like, what? How old are you? What are you, six? You know, like. Mm. And, and now, do you I think that Jesus. was. Now, oh, sorry. Finish what you're saying. Dante. I want to hear no, what good, good, good. I, 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 what, I, what I'm saying is how much of that was you being kind of unaware? Because now it seems like you're going in hindsight. I'm not being fair. And this this body count is kind of inflated due to the business I'm in, even though it's regardless, it's still a massive body count. So how much of that is upon reflection and how much of that was you just trying to play a character, so to speak, at least no, early on? You know me, right? I mean, how you know me? I don't never play a character. Yeah, you know I know, what I mean? but comedically, maybe like trying to not not in that not in that you're lying or anything, but that you're just like. 
I don't know. Never mind. Uh, maybe I'm going too deep no, into the Harry, body count. I, I think well, what see, were you what, what were you saying? Yeah. I'm not like, sure. How much of that is uh, when did you reach that realization? I guess is what I'm asking that, like, because this is the first time you're you're saying that with like humbleness, so to speak. Look, I got a nice. I got a I, like now I got a great. I got a nice hammer. I got a nice hammer. I got a, it's not a Riley hammer. It's, it's not too a, much for Riley. It, it's definitely too much for Riley. It's definitely too much for Riley. I just found out today I'm too much for Riley. You learn weird things on this podcast. <laughs> well, most, uh, most men, Harry, but it's most okay. men. <laughs> but I didn't. So even even when I was with when I was with dudes who were in the strip business, right? I mean, I knew, there was a guy that they had a guy by the name of um Prince Machiavelli. It was a hmm. guy, this, this stripper named Prince Machiavelli. He had a, a, you know how you have an extra pinky? He had an extra dick on the side, like. like an a extra, extra ridge? No, a pinky. Like, a, he had an extra dick, like a second little Whoa. dick on the side. Wow. And his okay. dick was, I mean, but I'm when I say big I dick, I mean, that. like, 12s, 13s. Oh. Um, the average, the average dude was a, was an eight, you know, like a, like an eight, seven, eight was an average dude. This seems right? like a, a, a nightmare that Riley would have to wake up from. Like if she's <laughs> running through a forest, <laughs> it's just, <laughs> just running through like big dicks, no trees, just the forest of dicks <laughs> is going, no. <laughs> Please. She's running. No. Um, she falls. She in the face. It's like, no, stop. stop. I'm just trying to get to Indonesia. Please. <laughs> That's and crazy. She, with this, he's a, he's another, he had another. He had a second penis. But I, there was a dude. There was a dude. I mean, there was a dude I know that had about a 15, a 14, 15, like that. There's a guy. Um, If you ever get a chance, Riley, can you Google Google? Now, I don't know if you could get him, but his name, there's a porn star named Blackzilla. I'm already scared. Black is Blackzilla. <laughs> Unless this is like a real ironic nickname. This right. is no. going to be bad. I would love it. Oh, it's, it's okay. I have to... You know how when you call a little person uh, Big Sean or whatever? Yeah, this or, is not. Hey. You see Blackzilla? Did you see? Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Um... Oh my it's, god! It's crazy. Like I mean, Riley's yeah, like, covering her mouth like she porn just stars. Was. Porn stars go <laughs> like when the girls porn stars they're like, "Oh my god!" And they hold their arm up Holy to it. Shit. Yeah, it's wow. like my mouth hurts looking at this. Yeah, you need to get like extra insurance if you're in the porn business to work with that guy. You need like hazard but, pay. But I, I, there were guys in the business like that. I, at least. Well, it makes sense. I mean, he's listen, in his, we're he's in his fifties now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good for him. Oh, he worked a long time. He's five ten. Yeah, he's not a tall dude. He's not particularly attractive or built. But God gives with one hand, and then he kicks you in the face with with the other right foot. You know, like he's <laughs> not really that good looking. So, but he's you know. But I mean, I work with so my I like I had like dick dysphoria where I I thought I had a little dick. Like, oh, wow. This is the first time I'm hearing of this. Whoa. I never said that. I, never I don't think you. I don't recall. Yeah, I thought I had a little dick wow. compared to those guys. Everybody all else. around all these huge dicks. I would be like, wow, mine is so tiny at like seven, eight, even nine. Looking at something like, damn. Yeah, it was like that was my thought. But I was Charlie Hustle. You know what I mean? I was Rudy of fucking. You thought you were Rudy. <laughs> I was like, I'm I'm Charlie Hustle. You know, I'm getting out there. I'm, a, I'm giving you. I'm giving you four quarters. That's you like, know, four quarters of hard not, work. I'm, a, I'm leaving it out on the field, baby. He's not big, but his heart is massive. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a lot of fun. He's got a lot of spirit. He just keeps getting up. <laughs> so okay. So you want to know what countries have the biggest? Uh, I just looked this up. Oh, uh, it's in centimeters though. Uh. Oh, we did Appar this on the radio one time. Yeah. It's the wild. country, apparently in 2002, uh, number one, Ecuador. Guess who's half Ecuadorian? Just throwing it out there, guys. <laughs> Celebrate. Uh, Cameroon. You better not, not put that out there unless you want that kind of smoke, Harry. So. Yeah, that's true. Careful. Too, I am, great yeah. power comes great a... responsibility, <laughs> Harry. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> I am in a relationship, lady, so too bad. Um, <laughs> but just want that. Inf- I don't know why you still need that information out there. But uh, Cameroon, Bolivia, I'm going in order. The Sudan, Haiti have some massive ones. Senegal. Oh, yes, all- they have their big dicks in there. Yeah. For some months. Why do why your dick is like a snake? <laughs> Gambia, the Netherlands. All right. Wait, nice. the Netherlands are there? Nether- they're massively tall, those guys. I don't know if you watched them during the World Cup. They're gigantically tall. Oh, wow. So that kind of makes sense. They're like Vikings. Oh, yeah. They're, they're the purport. You know, it almost doesn't count because they're proportional. You know what I mean? But like if they had a small dick and they were six five. You'd be that's like, got to oh. be disappointing. Although that would be perfect for you. What are you saying? Yeah, you'd that's be like, got to oh, be right I up your alley. Love that. Oh, and by alley. <laughs> <laughs> Riley is going to start booking a trip to the Netherlands and just. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> Who are the loneliest guys here in the Netherlands? <laughs> Who wants to go get blown underneath the windmill? <laughs> oh, that's adorable. I would do that. <laughs> I bet you would. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> Under <know>. a windmill. <laughs> Riley goes to Japan and, and everybody's like, she's a hero. <laughs> she's finally terrorizing. Me. Great. We meet some new friends. It's lovely. Uh, All right. We got to wrap oh, this up. Yeah, let's. Um, we got to uh, uh, come, with, come with the Anything going Patreon. on, and we're going to do the Patreon and talk about more. Uh, need oh, live yeah. season whatever no oh, yeah so, oh, what do you different. finally on patreon you know uh it's you know it's the exclusively to the listener so finally riley will let loose a little bit instead of uh <laughs> keeping it yeah you can't wait you can, can't imagine what we're gonna talk about on the back end finally riley's gonna be like and by right, the back end i mean um, but yeah, you can find me anywhere, you know, Riley Lassen on Instagram and all that fun stuff. Um, I have a podcast. I actually have a podcast coming out in, in January. It's so called needlelie.com. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask Andre about that afterwards. I'm going to call him and be like, yeah. I have a question. <laughs> He'll be like, yeah, yeah. You know, Andre be like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll answer yeah. it factually. Yeah, yeah. No, that's true. 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 <laughs> I've heard that. I've heard that. <laughs> What's the podcast that's coming out, Riley? Because Riley is also a fantastic broadcaster. Oh, thank was, you. It's, gonna, it's called Third Wheeling with Riley Lassen. Well, it's about me being a third wheel. So watch me get a boyfriend next week, and then the oh, whole podcast. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, her podcast go to shit. <laughs> right. So wait, what is that? What how how is it about you being a third wheel? Out of curiosity. So, because I've been a third wheel my whole life, and I love it, and I love it. I love going out with all my friends and relationships. I love doing it. So I have my friends come on with their boyfriends, girlfriends, their partners, whatever. And, and I interview them. We talk. We play games. It's fun. I'm excited. All right. But nice. if I get a boyfriend, I'm going to fuck things up. So. You, could, you, could just, you just don't bring him on the show. That's all. Right. All right. I just <laughs> I keep him under wraps. His, him I mean, it's, it's, it's like only you're going to be you're not only going to be blowing him anyway. So what the difference <laughs> does it make? So. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. But this has been uh, fantastic. Thank you for having me, guys. It's been lovely. Harry, make it quick. Uh, Just go to uh, all my stuff is on TikTok and YouTube at Harry Turjanian. And if you want relationship consultation, relationship consultations, uh, you can email me at advicefromharry at gmail.com and we can set up rates. Yo, you know me. Google me, bitch. And if you want a consultation, uh, DanteNero.com, click on consult. Don't forget to sign up for the Patreon. Um, anybody who's been asking me about the old episodes, I'm working on my website. We're going to have all the old websites, even from Beige Phillip, Black Phillip, all that stuff. I'm, I'm working on having that up. Uh, GYBB, Get Your Balls Back. WWDD, What Would Dante Do? The Sexual Revolutions being podcasted. I'm excited. Yo, I love y'all, man. Check us on the other side of the Patreon side. Peace. <laughs>